morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCA TTV studio, I'm Joe Kozich alongside Jamie Hoff. And coming up today, reporter Dom Atkinson asks students about their favorite holiday movie, and Joel Miller shows how ceramics students make a vase. All this and more in today's morning announcements. Students interested in participating in the ski club are asked to turn in your money and completed paperwork by this Thursday so preparations can begin for the first trip the week we turn from break. Wish for snow and lots of it, and we will have an awesome ski season. Tomorrow is the final day to register for at Polar Palooza discounted rate. The event will take place on Friday, February 21st from 2 to 8.30 p.m. and is open to any Greater Latrobe student in grades 9 through 12. You must pre-register. No tickets will be sold at the door. The cost of a ticket is $15 for participants, but you can get an early registration discount today and tomorrow and purchase a ticket for only $10. Pick up a registration form in the student waiting area of the office or download it from the Senior High webpage. Organize your team of 6 to 8 players and join in the fun. If we do not have 24 teams by December 20th, the event will be canceled. Now here is Annie Duda with the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Time for your local weather report. Today calls for partly cloudy skies with a high of 30 and low of 21. Friday will bring more partly cloudy skies with a high of 37 and low of 24. And Saturday will once again have more cloudy skies with a high of 44 and a low of 26. That's all for the weather. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Annie. During the month of December, the library will be hosting a contest to see who can make the best holiday gift using the laser machine. Come learn how to engrave and cut a variety of materials to make unique holiday gifts and possibly win a student store gift card in the process. Ceramic students gain the experience using the potter's wheel. Reporter Joel Miller shows us what his process looks like. You wedge the clay well, form into a round ball, throw the clay onto the center of a bat on the wheel, seal the base with your finger. Place your hands around the base of the clay. Slowly squeeze the clay to the center and cone up. Add pressure using the palms of your hands. Let your thumbs lay on top of the clay. Do this until the clay is centered. Create a hole and open up the clay. With a slow speed on the wheel, place your thumbs together and push down into the middle of the clay. Leave a half inch of clay at the bottom. Open up the base of the pot by using your left middle finger to pull the wall out at the base of the pot. Keep your right hand on the outside of the pot. Pinch the wall to create an even thickness, then compress the floor of the pot. Start in the center and pull fingers of the right hand outward. Slow the wheel down, then pull up with one hand inside and the other hand on the outside. Shape it with your respective fingers. Trim rim and excess clay with appropriate tools. When the clay is leather hard, you center the pot upside down on the potter's wheel. Then you use loop tools to trim and level out the bottom of the pot. Once dry, you can load the pot into the kiln, then fire it. After firing the piece once, you can glaze the piece. Finally, you then fire the product one more time and you have the finished product. Pulseras will be sold in the commons area from now until Christmas break. Stop in and buy one while you can. Seton Hill will be here on Wednesday, January 15th for instant decision and free application day. Please sign up in the 1112 office to schedule. Now here is Preston Yingling with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? It's Thursday, December 19th, and the main line's cooking up the brunch lunch with sides of savory sausage link and hash brown. Over in the cultural corner, we've got teriyaki chicken with a side of broccoli. Finally, the soup of the day is Italian chicken. That's what's cooking. Thanks, and back to you guys. Thanks, Preston. Chick-fil-A breakfast sandwiches will be sold tomorrow starting at 7 a.m. There's a limit of two per student. We go now to reporter Dom Atkinson, who asked students about their favorite holiday movie. My favorite movie is everyone's favorite, Home Alone 4. My favorite Christmas movie is the movie Tusk. My favorite holiday Christmas movie is Gift Givers 3. My favorite Christmas movie is Elf. I like the movie Santa Buddies. My favorite Christmas movie is Ice Age. Christmas Vacation. The Grinch. Our favorite Christmas movie is Elf. 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 Favorite Christmas movie is Daddy's Home 2. <laughs> Reporting for WCAT-TV, this has been Jamie Hove. And Joe Cozen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.